Hey guys, this is Brandon with Seller.Tools and in this video I want to talk about indexing. Um, indexing, as far as we've noticed, has definitely changed over the last uh, you know, 30, 45 days. Some people say you know, it was July, not August, but it doesn't really matter because it definitely has changed. And I think that uh, some sellers out there are really confused about what's going on and are making the wrong business decisions based upon what's going on. Um, so I'm going to jump into one of my products over here. Um, this I, I use it for a lot of examples, um, and I'll just go in and search for it. So this is product I'm going to use. Uh, I've used it in a ton of other videos, and uh, the typical way of uh, checking index uh, for you guys that are either new or or want to know what this video is really is about. Um, it's really about checking index. Are you indexed? And the fact that the old way of doing uh, ASIN plus the keyword, let's just say uh, real silk eye, um, is not always accurate. So this is the process as you can see it is the ASIN. It has the three words after that. And as you can see, it returns a result. Now, if I were to type in something completely different, as you can see, it is zero results. Thus, I'm not indexed for this particular uh, keyword right here. So if I would remove it, hit enter, etc., uh, go back and do just this keyword, as you can see, it definitely is not indexed for that particular uh, phrase. All right. So uh, Let's see, the, the way we do index check now in seller tools has completely changed. We moved completely away from this method, uh, which is the very well known method of ASIN plus keyword. Um, all the tools out there on the market uh, uh, utilize this method. Um, all the training uh, utilizes this method. Uh, all the masterminds talk about this method just because it was kind of the best, the well known way of checking for index. Um, but things have definitely changed. So. Uh, we're going to show uh, keywords within seller tools and then uh, keywords from an extremely popular uh, index checking software out there. Um, I will not be sharing what the com uh, competitor slash software name is um, just because I, I think it's completely wrong to kind of call that out. Um, but I will show it in action um, and then the results. I kind of changed the, the font of them, changed uh, kind of the results of them. Um, so hopefully, you know, it's not easy to figure out. But uh, again, you're not going to show the competitor name or call out anyone by name. Um, but definitely want to show what tools are doing out there, how it works, why it does it do, works that way. And so that you guys can make the, the true sense of everything. And you saw it right there very quickly. Um, but let's go ahead and dive into it. Um, so I'm going to copy out this ASIN and head over to RGA and paste it in and hit search. And this is just going to give me a ton of keywords that this particular ASIN is ranked for. Um, and this will be my beginning list. As you can see, I got a nice little list of uh, 165 results. And this will be the beginning list of I, what I'll use for my test. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and add it to my product, paste it in and choose my product here. And as you can see, here are all the keywords uh, right in front of us, keyword phrases right in front of us. I'm going to go ahead and copy the, these out and just to make a, a second copy of it uh, so that I can use it for later. As you can see, I'm going to copy it to Notepad, move it off my screen, uh, hit Next. From here, I'm going to select my master keyword. Uh, this is just setting up a basic product inside Seller Tools. Um, sleep my mask, add master keyword. It's so going to go ahead and check index in uh, real time here. And we're going to go ahead and let it finish. What it's doing here is checking every single uh, word and seeing if this particular product is indexed. As you can see, blue or yes, red is no. Um, I'm not gonna make any decisions here. I'm just gonna move them all to approved for uh, the sake of saving time. And I'm gonna finish. It's gonna save the keywords to my listing here. And then it's gonna begin to check index, as you can see here. It's gonna begin to check uh, rankings. It's gonna begin to check uh, impressions and relevancy and everything else. So we're gonna give that a second to finish. Up oh, there it goes. Um, get a little refresh and let's see what we find. Okay. So as you can see, uh, we do have some keywords that are, uh, ranked. We do have some keywords that are, uh, not indexed, or excuse me, indexed and keywords that are ranked, etc. Let's go ahead and refresh the page and there we go. Okay. So again, as you can see, uh, all the green chart marks are, uh, cell tools saying that these keywords are indexed. Uh, the red is saying it's not indexed. As you can see, this was updated 14 seconds ago. Um, these particular items, as you can see, it's uh, position 108 and it's got one little um, dot because it's the first time Cell Tools has found this particular ASIN uh, in the rankings. Uh, this has found it over a period of time. 
Uh, so there's a little bit of historical data there. Um, but what you're really paying attention to is the current rank here and then it, whether it's indexed or not. Okay, so now we're gonna go over to the uh, popular tool. And as you can see, I'm just showing the bottom of the tool. Uh, what I'm showing is the Google Chrome developer tools. What this is, is a little console that shows what a browser is doing when you're on Facebook, what a browser is doing when you're inside seller tools or, or in, in this case, inside this particular tool. Um, so again, I'm not going to show the, the competitor website, but I will show you kind of what it does and how it does it and why it does it. So I'm going to copy out my keywords here. So I'm going to come over here and copy these out. I'm going to paste it into the field for keywords. And then I need my ASIN. So I'm going to come over here, grab my ASIN and paste it here. And then I'm going to go ahead and click check. Now, now what you're going to see here is it's going to uh, check in real time very, very quickly. Um, as you can see, continue, continue going down. It's checking uh, amazon.com. Gonna wait for it to finish here. It's going, it's going, as you can see a lot more all the way, checking all 165 keywords in real time, uh, which is a great feature of this tool uh, because it is checking in real time. Um, as you can see, each one took about half a second. Some of them took almost, maybe almost a full second. And as you can see, it goes to amazon.com and uh, keywords, which is ASIN plus keyword and it continues to do so um, every half a second. Now, my thoughts on this. Um, it's great that it's doing it in real time, but I don't like the fact that it's doing it in real time because one, it's using my browser, it's using my computer, it's using my IP address in order to do the work. Um, I don't like that because I also log in with my computer into uh, Amazon, into my Seller Central account, and I, for my personal reasons, I don't want Amazon to see that I'm spamming Amazon. Uh, plain and simple as that. It's, it's a personal decision of mine, business decision of mine. Um, I'm not saying you will be suspended. I'm not saying you will be banned by any means. It just, I don't want to show Amazon that I'm, you know, searching for something on Amazon every half a second. Um, I think it looks unnatural and um, I don't know. I just don't want to do it. So that's essentially what it was doing is searching Amazon and then it's going to have results. Now the results are on a different screen here, the show right here. So I went ahead and pasted the results here. The first column is just uh, the quantity. If you scroll down, as you can see, we have 165, and then we have the actual keywords themselves, and then whether it's indexed true or false, and then our ASIN, just so it's easy to copy and paste. Now, so in this instance, this tool showed us that we are not indexed for Alaska bear sleep mask. As you can see, this is false. Let's go ahead and sort here. So if I do sort, sort uh, A to Z, as you can see, we have uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 17 keywords um, out of 165 that this tool says we are not indexed for. Okay? So, uh, plainly speaking, it goes to Amazon, it takes the uh, ASIN, it takes this uh, keyword, it pastes it in, hits enter. And as, as you can see, it's zero results, all right? So, so we can confirm that, you know, this, this data is indeed not indexed, right? So not indexed. Uh, blackout eye mask, let's grab some more. And let's see, we're gonna confirm. Okay, we're indeed not indexed. And if I, another one, not indexed, right? So it makes sense. Uh, this one is a misspelling, so I'm just gonna skip over it. Uh, sleeping mask, Alaska bear. It again so just have a couple examples again zero so not indexed so as you can see this tool is going out and let's get one that it is indexed for i sleeping mask all right so obviously one result we are indeed indexed so this is true so this tool is asking amazon asin plus keyword am i indexed so it is doing everything correctly uh, with the old method and it is getting the right information from amazon but Amazon is just giving us the wrong information. That is what has changed. Okay, so let's head on over to um, to Seller Tools and let's look and see what we have over here. So if I type in a keyword, now Seller Tools does something differently. This says it's position 46. This says it is indeed indexed. This Amazon says, no, we're not indexed for this keyword. Again, if I paste it in here, no, we're not indexed. This tool says we're not indexed, but what the heck? Um, uh, Seller Tools says yes, indexed, and we are actually ranked 46. 
my point in, in saying this is that if you were to rely on this method, you would assume that this keyword is not in your listing in some way. It could be not in your title, it could be in your not in your subject matter, uh, maybe in your search term fields. And so you begin to put these in or you move them around, you move them to your bullet point because you keep racking your brain on why is Amazon saying I'm not indexed. So you waste your time trying to get yourself indexed. In reality, you are indexed. And not only indexed, you're actually ranked. So if we were to go over here in position 46, view on Amazon, and we should go down, so it's 16 results, we should be on, let's say, about page three. And we go to page three here, and we're looking for, what was it, 46, this is 37. So we are, uh, maybe, maybe we dropped a little bit since last time we checked. There it is. So this is indeed 59, so minus a bunch of uh, sponsored ads. So we are indeed indexed. We are indeed ranked for this keyword. Um, so again, this tool is reporting the right information for Amazon, but Amazon is reporting it incorrectly or telling us a lie. Therefore, you cannot rely on, on this particular tool or this method, okay? So let's, let's use another one. So this is position 56. Let's go ahead and do this one um, again. Not index, let's go ahead and type it in over here. This one, we're position 122, and it's a little far, so I'm not gonna go down all the way down the page to whatever uh, whatever social source that is. 116, let's see if we can find one that is less. I think it was, actually it was this one that we did. Hopefully, since this one looks like a brand name, um, that we are actually not on page like 12 that I have to scroll to, that I can actually just do Okay, so this one, so this one, the, the tools actually agree, like not indexed, uh, this one says not indexed, so this one actually is correct. Now let's go ahead and just compare really quickly. So there's 17 results here. If I sort by seller tools, let's do index, not index. So there's four that these tools agree upon. So let's just make a little note on that. So uh, four are correct, right, out, out of 17, right, since there's 17 total. And let's continue on. Let's go ahead and do this really long one. Uh, let's go over here and change this to uh, all indexed or not indexed. Let me just refresh it here. So this one is we're position seven. We are indexed. This tool says we're not indexed. Uh, Amazon, plainly speaking from my IP address, says we're not indexed. Uh, but if I were to search for this particular keyword, eh, we should be position seven. So we are position, here we go, position nine minus two sponsored products, we're position seven. So again, you're making the incorrect decision, fighting yourself, trying to index for it. Now, the biggest issue with this is that if, if you have a tool that says you're not indexed and you're not ranked greater than 300, you automatically assume that you're not actually indexed. So you would fight trying to get that index. In reality, you are indexed, is what seller tools would tell you, but you would just be greater than 300. See if we can find any example of that. Um, so go all, let's sort it the other way. There we go, greater than 300 and index. So this is a perfect indication, oops. There we go. So this is a perfect indication of uh, something where you are greater than 300, but you are indexed. Now, if you use a, a different tool uh, like this one, um, this tool over here, it will show that you are not indexed and greater than 300. Therefore, you would fight yourself trying to get yourself indexed. And I know I keep repeating that, but I think just think it's a, a, a huge problem and issue. Now, if we were to put it in kind of math ter terms in terms of you wasting time, you know, if if 17 are reported that you're not indexed and four of them you are indeed 100% correct that you're not indexed for, um, that, that leaves 13. You divide that by 165 keywords, that means 7%, almost 8%. That means 8% of all keywords that these other tools are reporting or the ASIN Plus uh, keyword is using is completely wrong for this particular ASIN. And we notice between all of our tests, it's anywhere between 6% and 12%. So that means that 12% of all your keywords 
is showing you the wrong data that you're not indexed and therefore you're kind of wasting your time and, and unbeknownst to you you may not be indexed and ranked for keywords that potentially could give you traffic keywords that you could rank for keywords that you could do launches for and that you could become number one that's why it's so important as something just a basic index check so um there's nothing that you guys can do honestly i mean this is kind of sounds a little ominous just because all the tools use that old method um, Seller Tools uses a new method. I can't disclose exactly what we do, but we're 99.9% .9 accurate in terms of reporting um, actually indexed true or false um, being accurate. Um, so hopefully this, this video was informational for you guys. Um, I highly recommend you guys use Seller Tools to see if you're indexed, to build your listings, um, to keep track of, of your rankings and your index status. I mean, again, we, we check your index status every single day. Like no other tool does that. We do it automatically every single phrase. If you have 20,000 phrases with us, we check 20,000 phrases every single day. If you want to check it in real time, let's say you're constructing your listing and you sort by not indexed, you work your butt off to get these four indexed. Now you want to check, you can't use the old method, but what you could do right over here, go refresh index, which I, I just clicked it a few minutes ago, but you can actually do this every 60 minutes, right? So you technically could get seller tools every 60 minutes to recheck your index very powerful and it's all phrases it's it's crazy anyway so if you guys have any questions jump into fba kings ask us some questions hopefully this this video was informational um and let us know thanks guys